Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and I'm so glad that you're here today. This will be my last video on YouTube. This video has been a long time coming. It's kind of funny, I had a moment yesterday where I was really, really tempted and totally started planning to spend today doing like a vlog type of video. And of course that's not what we're doing, so things definitely changed. I don't even know where to start. I guess maybe going off of that, this has not been an easy decision by any means. I have gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth trying to figure out what I wanted to do with YouTube, where I wanted to go with it. Did I want to return? Did I want to close the chapter? Did I want to do it as a hobby? Do I want to push through and try and figure it out as a business? When I tell you that over the last however many months it's been, like six months, I have talked to my therapist about it. I've talked to my friends, to my family. I have prayed about it. I have talked to my husband about it. I have been talking to myself about it. It's like I would flip-flop in my mind every five minutes, honestly. It would be like, okay, yes, I can do this. I want to do a vlog. And there are these wonderful aspects of YouTube that I really miss. The creative side of things, the connection, the friends, the validation it gives me. All of those things I really do miss the community. There's an element to my YouTube journey that has just been so, so beautiful and wonderful and has brought me so much joy and has been a big chapter in my life. There's another side of it though that has been so incredibly hard and complex and debilitating in a way and stressful and overwhelming and heartbreaking and those are the things that I could definitely do without. <laughs> I started my YouTube journey back in I think it was 2018. I got a camera, I started reading books, I wanted to be just like all of the booktubers that I saw and really watched and emulated and got inspired by what they did. I've been so blessed to have a YouTube channel that has grown over the last four years and have been able to connect and made amazing friends and really truly enjoyed a majority of my time on booktube. But I would say over the last year or so, especially when I started therapy, but even before then, it was almost something that I felt like I needed to keep doing in order to feel validated as a person, to feel like worthy. It was almost like if I didn't have booktube, if I didn't do this thing, who was I? Like who really am I? Do I even like reading? Do I like creating these things? Do I like editing videos? Do I like connecting with people in this way? Um, aside from it, like where do I land? And in the last six months, I have really found myself again. I really feel like I've been able to find some of the beautiful things that I've been missing out on or was scared that I wouldn't enjoy for fear of letting go of booktube and like being a person outside of content creation. It's hard for me to sum up like what got me here but I'm trying to do the best that I can. It's a whole conglomeration of things. Last fall, very unfortunately, my two very best friends that were born out of this community and our love for reading um, ended in a really traumatic and heartbreaking way and I'm still processing how that all ended. I'm still healing from the pain of how that ended and that has not been easy to kind of like separate from my time on booktube. That hasn't been easy for me to like compartmentalize and just keep going on this trajectory of creating content um, because to me it's felt honestly like a little bit of a death and it's been hard to grieve and process that. So that's been one reason why I haven't been around. Another reason is I've mentioned therapy but obviously 
I've been doing so well in therapy. Like, feels weird to say that kind of, but it is amazing to think back to like where I started when I started therapy and who I was and the things that I struggled with. They're still around, they're still here, but the resilience that I have, the strength that I've found, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so thankful for my therapist and for my friends and my family that have supported me through a really tough process. Like any of you that have been through therapy that have complex PTSD or anxiety, depression, um, eating disorders, it is like this absolute mess of stuff that you have to work to untangle and as soon as you think you've got it all figured out and you're like yes I just have a little bit left to go you're like oh here's all of this other stuff that I actually still have to work on and it's really hard but so worth it and I think there was a fear honestly that if I came back to YouTube that the stress and the overwhelming feelings and some of the sadness and just the, the harder things of it, it would like affect all of these wonderful things that I'm discovering about myself and all of the progress I'm making. And I genuinely feel so protective of myself. I feel protective of the girl who deserved better for years and years and years. And I want nothing to get in the way of that progress because there is nothing more important than healing. And I have walked through and I've done hard things and I don't deserve to go back there. So one of the other reasons for me to close this chapter is because I'm doing really good and I want to keep doing really good. I want to keep healing and I want to keep having good days. You know, I made a video back in like August of 2019 where it was the first video for me on booktube that really like opened up I think a different world of YouTube and where my channel ended up going. It was the first time I was ever really vulnerable with my um, mental health and with my deeply rooted self-esteem issues for lack of a better word. It was the first time I was really transparent with how much I struggled with hating myself and struggled with depression and just debilitating self-hatred is really what it came down to. And I remember, I mean, I, I remember <laughs> being there. I remember days and days and days of just endless negative self-talk and thinking in those seasons, in that season, in those years, when will I ever get to a place, will I ever get to a place where I can have days where I don't hate myself? I think I may have even said it in that video, it's hard for me to watch to be honest, but where I said like, I just want to go one day without hating myself. And to be here now, And say, like, it has been days since I've hated myself. <laughs> that's healing and that's worth me continuing to pursue and protect. And I guess I just want to use this moment to try and be a little encouraging to anyone out there who has thought about pursuing therapy, who has struggled with similar things that I struggle with. There is hope. There are professionally trained people that will blow your mind with how they can help you heal. And to me, it always felt like this really like arbitrary kind of made up thing that existed in like the, the outside world of like, how can just talking about my stuff like help me, right? That's how I felt. All I've done so far, and I, I wouldn't even say all I've done, because that makes it sound like I haven't done, that it's like lesser in some way. I've been doing um, talk therapy for over a year now with my therapist. And I haven't done like anything above and beyond that yet. 
but it's amazing to me like the power of that alone talking to somebody exploring certain things validating this is why this is happening this is a real thing it's not a made-up thing why you feel this way or here's the answers to this you know like I don't know it's it's just really truly life-changing and if there's anything that I would want anyone to take away from this video it's that there is hope there is healing there is somebody out there who is going to hear you and validate you and believe you and it is worth the journey it is worth the grieving process it is worth creating boundaries in your life it's just it's it's worth it a year plus later i am amazed with where i am at and how much better i truly feel and how feeling better has affected me and my marriage it's affected me with my family it's affected me with my friends like all in positive ways with my job it's not just like this thing that I've arrived to and I'm like okay cool I'm better like there's this trickle down effect of like oh this is improving and this is improving and I'm enjoying this more and I don't know it's just worth it it's so so worth it I think the last reason for wanting to end my YouTube journey here is that my husband and I, Andrew and I, we are in a really wonderful, like, new chapter of our lives. The future's looking really bright and things are going really good in my life. Like, mental health stuff aside, I feel like we're really finding roots almost for kind of the first time in our marriage. I'll kind of touch on that a little bit later, but I think when I, when I really started YouTube was, it was when I was in a place of loneliness and isolation and I really wanted to connect and have find friends and be a part of a community and you know Andrew was we had like a one car and Andrew was touring and he was gigging all the time and I was home alone and I didn't have friends and like this was my biggest social connection was this channel and I was also in a job that I hated with a company that was so toxic and bad for me and for pretty much everyone who worked there like I desperately needed an escape and there were especially early on these dreams and goals of me like being able to pursue this full time and have maybe sponsorships and make money from it and all these things and I really wanted it to bring fulfillment and satisfaction to my life that I was needing at that time in my life but since we've moved back to Wisconsin and we have just wonderful like family and friends here and we both have new jobs. I started my new job back in 2020 but a year ago became a manager and really love what I do. I am so blessed because I know that that's a privilege. I know that more so than not people don't often say that they like love their jobs and like my job is not glamorous. I I work in health insurance. <laughs> It is not glamorous by any means, but I work for a kick-ass company that is so good to me and to their employees and I'm passionate about what I do and I'm good at what I do and I, I love my job. So there's fulfillment there. I love where we are right now with like friends and family and having a community, a social aspect, fulfillment there. Um, and other hobbies. I have other interests, you know, above and beyond reading. And so fulfillment there. Like, my life is in a totally different place from where it was four years ago, even a year ago, honestly. All of these things, all of these really wonderful things, I want to embrace fully right now. And I don't have a desire to pursue YouTube as a business, and I haven't for a long time, honestly. I was talking to a wonderful content creator yesterday, and she said something that has stuck with me, and she was like, honestly, if somebody wanted to pursue YouTube, I would ask them, like, why are you pursuing it? Are you pursuing it out of a means to, like, start a business and be a brand and make money and have that be your profession or are you doing it as a hobby and she's somebody who is larger in this community and she said 
if you're pursuing it for a hobby, I would probably tell you to do it somewhere else, to like find a different hobby. And she was like, and I'm not trying to be pessimistic, but YouTube is so time intensive. It's so tedious. It is so draining. I mean, it's wonderful in the process and the outcome. And like when you post that video and you're like, oh yes, I did it. Like all that time and energy and then booktube on top of it, right? Because you have to read all the books on top of just creating the content and editing and posting. It's so time consuming. As a hobby, do I want that time consuming of a hobby? The answer is no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so while I still love doing all of the fun aspects of it, you know, the, the connection and the community and obviously I love reading the books and the aesthetics and creating that, whatever, I can get that elsewhere. I can do those things elsewhere. I, I've been on Instagram and I've been on TikTok and I've been enjoying creating stuff like that through those channels that is so far less time consuming. So that's just one other aspect of sort of my decision making for where I'm at here and now. I think I covered all the reasons. I probably should have taken some notes before I did this video, but here we are. I guess I can kind of talk about the future now if you're still around, if you want to hear. Future looks really bright. <laughs> so as I mentioned, I have been posting on um, Instagram and a little bit on TikTok. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing on TikTok. I still find it so confusing, but I'm trying and it's kind of fun. But Instagram for sure. I, um, I'm not on my book to my bookstagram anymore. Um, that I haven't posted since last year. So I'm not there, but I do have a personal account. If you follow me on my bookstagram, if you click on my profile in my bio, I have a link to my like personal account that I've been posting to. So um, I am there, I'm on my personal one. If you think you follow me on my personal one, <laughs> You may want to double check because I had a moment like last fall where I removed everybody except like close friends and families and went uh, private on my personal Instagram. Then decided obviously later to not be private anymore and <laughs> now it's public anyway. So if you want to follow me there, I definitely post a lot on my stories. I love um, just sharing like what I'm up to and then obviously on the feed and then some reels and TikToks here and there. But yeah, so I'm going to be posting there. Life updates, home updates, cats, and just all wonderful, great things. Still sharing about mental health. Like everything that was basically in my YouTube channel is going to just be in Instagram for you. So Follow me there if you'd like to, I'll post it down below. You can expect probably a lot of home related things. I don't know if you can tell, but I am in a new house. We bought this home three weeks ago is when we like moved in. We closed a while ago, but uh, yeah, we bought a house. It's just the best ever. I'm obsessed with this house. I love it so much and owning my own home is something that I know I've talked a lot about on my channel. I've wanted to do. I love doing home stuff. I love being at home. So as I'm sure you can tell, like I'm just, I'm loving being here. I'm posting a lot of like what I'm doing in the house, what I'm updating, what I'm decorating, what I'm painting, and we're certainly making it our own, um, which is really, really fun. So yeah, definitely please, you know, Follow me on Instagram if you want to see all of the house updates. We've been really loving this house too. And, and we're just so excited to see what the future holds, you know, uh, maybe start a family. Stuff like that is what we're really, really looking forward to now. Okay, I think I've been talking for three million years, but I just wanted to say that I'm feeling really blessed to be able to end my time on YouTube on a really bright and happy note. I'm feeling really good. I am healthier, much healthier, and happier, and um, in a wonderful house with our three kitty cats and my amazing supportive husband, surrounded by friends and family, and I couldn't ask to kind of close this chapter with a happier ending. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the book metaphors. <laughs> I think I certainly want to end this video by just thanking you all so, so much from the absolute bottom of my heart for how nice and welcoming and supportive and encouraging 
and lovely you have all been to me during my time here on YouTube. You guys accepted me when I was doing something really cool or just sitting at home hanging out with the cats. You accepted me when I was crying and <laughs> having a bit of a breakdown or when I was laughing and having the best time of my life. Gosh, all of the support, whether it was like through <laughs> supporting me through Patreon when it existed for like one whole month <laughs> or um, our book club when it was around, or all of the readathons, stuff like that. Like any time y'all showed up to support, and I, I remember like the usernames, I know the people that were really there like constantly, and even those sporadically commenting, or those of you that have just watched and never commented, like I cannot tell you what a joy it has been and how it has been such a bright spot in my life in so many ways. Thank you for making my time on YouTube so incredibly special. All right, I guess with that, um, that's all. I've had the time of my life. I love you all. And I guess I'll be seeing you. Bye. <laughs>